had youth built, um, so I found another little project to do is paint this bathroom. We put a new ceiling fan in last week, and uh, so it needs painting now. So I'm going to paint the ceiling, and I'm going to show you the proper way of painting. Um, so what I like to do is get a little container like this. I can hold it in my hand, and get yourself a brush. I prefer two and a half inch brush that's angled. You'll notice that there's an angle on it, all right? Um, and I like to put about that much paint on, okay? If you dip your whole brush inside the, uh, the uh, paint, it's gonna create a lot of mess. It's gonna drip everywhere, all right? So I like to keep my brush clean. I like to put about that much brush uh, paint on. I wipe the back side of it so it doesn't drip. So if I go like this, it just keeps on dripping. But if you wipe the back side of it, it stops dripping, okay? So I'm gonna start up in the ceiling here. So uh, And so I'm going to be painting the ceiling and the walls, all right? So what I want to do is, I want to paint, I'm going to cut in the edges first, okay? So by cutting in the edges, get a little paint on my brush. I'm going to start, I'm going to get it on the wall as well, just a little bit on the wall. I want to get my corners really good. Just a little bit on my brush, so it's not dripping everywhere. All right, and get it. Bring it down on the wall a little bit. I'm going to go all the way around the whole perimeter of the ceiling. So when you paint, you always start at the top and work your way down. So if I was just painting the ceiling, I'd be really careful. I'd probably put some blue tape on the wall so I didn't get any on there. But knowing that I'm going to paint the, uh, the walls, I want to get a little bit on the wall as well. And I'm going to continue doing that around the whole perimeter. All the way around, I want to just take a, uh, a four inch mini roller, sponge roller, and uh, I've got my, my ceiling paint in there. And uh, I want to get it wet, and then roll off the excess paint. All right, I'm going to start in one corner, and work my way out. Continue that all the way around until I cover the whole ceiling. All right, so I've got the ceiling all painted. Um, all the edges are dry, the ceiling's dry. So I'm gonna do the same thing that I did before. I'm gonna dip my brush into the paint about uh, a third of the way. Wipe off the back side. Notice this brush is angled as well. So I'm gonna put the pointy angle up towards the ceiling. I'll put it in there. So the pointy edge up into the ceiling and get as close as I possibly can to the ceiling without touching the ceiling. And I'm just going to work my way in one line all the way down. So it's not as easy as it looks. You might want to take some blue painter's tape and tape off the edge of the ceiling so you don't get any on there. But I've been doing this for quite some time. I'm pretty good at cutting in now without having to use tape on anything. So I just go nice and slow. Take my time, get as close as I can to the white ceiling without touching it. And work my way all the way around the whole perimeter. All right, so I got the ceiling all cut in. Worked my way down, I did my inside corners. And I'm gonna to continue to work my way down. Remember I mentioned we start at the top and work our way down. Get in as close as I possibly can to the trim, existing trim, without touching it. I want to get it nice and tight. So this takes a steady hand. You know, if you're if you're kind of shaky like Adriana, you're going to want to use uh, some blue tape. You're going to want to tape that off all the way around so you don't uh, you don't get it on the trim, or else you're going to have to paint all the trim again. Then I'm going to do the same thing, working around all of my trim, then around all of my light fixtures, nice and easy. You can also take these off, but if you can cut it in really nice and tight like that without uh, getting it on there, it's just a lot quicker, saves you a step from uh, removing it, which uh, I very rarely remove because I can get it in pretty tight. Like I said, if you're, if you're pretty shaky, you're gonna wanna uh, 
tape this stuff off and so that you don't get it on anything except for the wall. All right, so I got it all cut in now. I got all the inside corners around all the trim. Everything's cut in. I'm gonna uh, roll it now. I got a nine inch roller. Get yourself a, uh, a uh, nine inch pan. Put in some paint in there. I wanna make sure I got a lot on my roller. I'm gonna roll it off. All right, pretty simple, not that much. Start in one location. We'll start here. I wanna get the entire wall. I wanna really roll this paint into the uh, the wall. We sell extenders. The wall is really tall. I should be able to get most of it with this. Just work your way. Do one area. Don't be uh, doing this and going over there and over there and over there, you know. You want to do one whole area and get it completed all the way down before you start the next area. So then I'm going to come over here. Start working my way down again. So at the top, just work your way down. You're gonna continue doing that all the way around all four walls. All right, so I just finished rolling all the walls here. Ceiling's all done, walls are all complete. Uh, I'm gonna let it finish drying. It's got a couple different shades right now because uh, some of it's still wet, some of it's already drying, but I'll take a look at it when it's all done. If I need another coat, I'll add another coat. So that's how you properly paint uh, ceilings and walls. If you have any questions, you guys know how to reach me and I can walk you through it too. So thank you for watching.